Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to fine tune image caching in both Xamarin Forms and .NET MAUI with the built-in image and built-in data caching, so tune in. Hey everyone, I'm James and I'm back with another 101 video, this time talking about image caching inside of Xamarin Forms and .NET MAUI with a built-in image control. Now, you're probably saying, James, like I've used the image control, you've used the image control, you can do all sorts of things with the image control, you can play GIFs, you can download images, you can pull images out locally, all sorts of stuff. But when you go off and you give Xamarin Forms or .NET MAUI the URI, or the URL, if you will, of an image, it will automatically download it for you and cache it. Now, did you know that it actually caches that image for 24 hours? That means if you're scrolling and your users are navigating away, as long as that URL stays constant, it will be cached for 24 hours, which is actually really, really nice. Now, most applications, I think, would probably make really good use case of that because they don't want to download images over and over and over again. But what if you're building an application where your user's avatar actually updates, or maybe you need to display a webcam in real time, maybe like a street cam from uh, Washington Department of Transportation, or maybe your deer cam, where there's a unique URL that is just updating every few minutes. Well, you have fine grain control over to do this in both Xamarin Forms and Donna Maui, and I'm gonna show you how to, and specifically, we're gonna see how to just sort of have it update when your users come back into the application after a few minutes or update on demand. So let's check it out. So I'm over here on the Washington State Department of Transportation and there are over 1,400 cameras all around the city, which is crazy. Now here is one right here um, from the Interstate I-5 um, bridge somewhere, some interpass where apparently there's a McDonald's and a Taco Bell somewhere. But you can see the last update was 6.22 p.m. Now my machine, it's 6.31, so let me refresh this. And what we'll see is that this has now been updated and a city bus was flying by because this is updated every two minutes. Now if I right click and I copy the image link, we'll see that it gives me an image. And sure enough, this is the 6.26. And if I refresh this without changing the URL, it updates to the 6.30. Now that means that we would want to have that image update every few minutes in our application, or at least be cached for a few minutes. So I've built the world's simplest uh, way of doing this. So inside of our coffee app, here specifically is our image. Um, and, and we want it to update over here. We can see the last time it was downloaded is at 616. So we probably wanna go ahead and have that updated. So let's take a look at this application. So what we'll see is that I have an image caching page and right now it is caching that image for one day. So we have a source, this is an image. If I look at the view model, it is just set right there to the image, that is it. So no matter what, if I go to another page, I come back into this page, 616, it's definitely not gonna pay, change at all. So one way that we could change this specifically is we could um, set some um, something different in our code behind. So let me, or not in our code behind, but in our XAML. We could set the source here to the image, uh, or if we want to change this, we could come in and say, you know what? Let me do image.source here, and let me create a URI image source. Now this is nice because I can set the cache validity. Now, Specifically, I'm gonna set it to five days. There's no real way to set it anywhere besides days in this time span. I couldn't figure out how to do that in XAML. And if anyone knows, put it in the show notes below. Definitely let me know, I'll do a short on it. But here, for example, I could say cache enabled equals true. And then I could say uh, URI equals um, you know, binding to um, my image, right? Now, that is one way of doing it if you want to extend the cache, but we actually want to shorten the cache, so that would be no good. So one way of doing it in the XAML would be to set this to zero and set this to false, right? Now, that's okay, but the problem we're going to run into is that every time the user loads this page, because we've disabled caching, if they do it every minute or so, or every 30 seconds, or scrolling through, it's going to try to re-download that image over and over and over again. 
So we don't want to do that. So what we want to do is change this from data binding to a string to an actual URI image source. So let's change this back over to my, um, my source being bound to the binding to my image. There we go. Awesome. Go ahead and shorten that up there. And now what we'll do is we will change this. Let me bring my, uh, this down a little bit. I'm going to do that, a URI image source. And now I'm going to say new URI image source here. And I'm going to say URI equals new URI. And there we go. Let's just go ahead and shove this in here. And then I will say uh, caching enabled. The default is true, but why not? You know, we're there. And then here I'll say caching validity equals time span dot from minutes. And I'm going to say one just because, you know, in case the user loads the image in between, just, hey, refresh it every minute, right? So now we didn't change much. This is the same exact code that I showed you earlier. Over here, we've just changed this from an image uh, to an image um, URI source. That's it. So this is now going to hopefully, ideally, enable us to change our image. So I'm going to go ahead and now take a look at our app. Let's boot it up over here. And when I go into it, one, we'll see that we actually get 634 right there. Now what we're going to want to do is see when this thing updates to 636. So let's give it a second here to update and hopefully update our application. So I'm just going to sit here and refresh and let's give it a second and we'll be back. All right, let's give it a go here. So refresh 636. Now I don't have a refresh button over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over and I'm going to say internet coffee, come back to my image and sure enough, 636. So now our image is updated because we've set that cache validity to one minute. Now Xamarin Forms and Don Maui know to download the image again when I set it there. All right. But what if I want to just like hit a refresh button here and let my user pull the refresh or hit a refresh button? We can do that too. So let's check this out. We're going to stop debugging. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to add a, a toolbar item. I say toolbar item text refresh, and then a command of a binding refresh command. Let's just do that. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. Now I could let Visual Studio automatically create it here for me. That's what this little bubble is trying to tell me to do here, which is kind of nice. Um, it can automatically create that command, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just fill it in myself in the code behind. So let's do that. I'm going to say public command refresh command get. Uh, there we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say public image cache view model. I'm going to say refresh command over here. I'm going to say new uh, command and give it a uh, action to execute. Now, what we need to do is two things. The first thing we need to do is we need to tell Xamarin Forms and Don in Maui that our image has changed here. Okay, so the actual property has changed. And that does not seem to be good enough, though, for it to actually update the image. We actually need to set the image to a new URI image source. Now I'm not exactly sure why this is. I have to ask the team as to as to why this this happens, but it doesn't really seem to be any really big overhead here. Now of course you have like millions of images, but here I'm just going to create a new image source, tell it that the property has changed, and boom, I'm totally good to go. But that's literally it. Okay, but I'm just going to press that. It's going to hit the refresh command and it should be good over here. So there it is. So let me go ahead and now uh, re-execute this uh, application and there should be a refresh button up top and when I tap on that it's going to create the new URI image source say that it's one image here and then we should be good so let's go over here and let's look at our application and let's go into images and ideally probably if I refresh this we're going to say 638 all right now, if I hit refresh here, nothing's going to happen. There's nothing to refresh. We do see a little flicker here. It's creating the new image source. It's not downloading the image in or anything like that, but it's just redisplaying it. So it sort of invalidates it when I do that. And that would happen even if I just triggered the property change notification. But now let's give this thing another minute or two to uh, actually update in real time uh, over in uh, the i5 in Washington. 
All right, I think I waited long enough. Let's refresh. I did not wait long enough. All right, oh, here we go. Let me go ahead and hit that there. And now we have 640, 638, hit refresh, and 640, there it is. That's super duper nice way of letting your users manually refresh the image them to go out of the application and into the application. Another way of doing that, of course, would be to set up a timer in your application and then update it every two minutes or so if they're on this page. So either way will totally work if you want to let your users be in control or if you want to be in control. There you go. All right. You are now completely in control of using the built-in image in Xamarin.Forms and .NET MAUI to control that cache validity. If you want to extend that time, you're in control of that. In fact, that's super important. You may want to actually do that for your applications if you know your images aren't going to change. You can set them to 365 days if you want, right? You can always change it later uh, in your application. Or if you want to shorten it with these little tricks and tips, you can, of course, manually refresh it, automatically update it on a timer, or let your users refresh as well. That's going to do it for this video. I will put a link to the source code down. As always, you can check out the Xamarin Forms 101 or the .NET MAUI 101. And of course, a lot of the content from the Xamarin Forms 101 series applies to the .NET MAUI series. So I just created a playlist for .NET MAUI 101 as well as it continues to iterate. So I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, put a comment below. And I got new merch. Look at this, this hat right there. And also, Mooch artwork. So check it out. I'll put a link to the merch show store below. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, of course, be super helpful. And thanks for watching.